All right, on to the next recipe. Oh my, our green velvet cake. The weather has not cooperated very well with uh, candy making and uh, cake making the last couple of weeks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mixer over here. Let's see here. I'm gonna get out two cups of sugar. And this is kind of a take, just like red velvet cake, except instead of using shortening, you use oil. I always add just a little bit more sugar. All right, two cups of sugar. And we need a cup and a half of vegetable oil. Do what? Well, you, you can always, you can, you can applesauce it. But that would make this cake even more moist and it is very moist as we saw earlier. <laughs> okay, a cup and a half of vegetable oil. And we're gonna go ahead and start blending that up. All right, now we're going to take in a small bowl. We're going to take our cocoa and our green food coloring. We're going to take two teaspoons of cocoa. A what? Well, I'm sure there is. She says, yes, there is. You could color it any color you want to color it in reality. Different cakes usually have, you know, they take on something a little bit different. They do something just a little bit different. All right, we're taking our baking cocoa. We add two teaspoons. Then you add a half a bottle of green food coloring. Stir that up. It takes just a second for it to kind of take hold. Then all of a sudden it's dark green. All right. Then you add one teaspoon of white vinegar. Stir that in. I'm looking at our recipe. I think something is misprinted on it. It's be okay. Yeah. And as you can see, every time I get in food coloring, I kinda. All right, I'm gonna add this green food coloring mixture to this sugar and oil mixture. I probably should have mixed it in a little bit smaller bowl because there's not a lot there. But this will flavor, that little bit will flavor this cake and color this whole cake, all three layers. All right, we're gonna turn that back on. Then we're going to add one cup of buttermilk. And I know we're supposed to alternate, so I'm gonna put a half a cup of this part of my flour. half 
there. <coughs> Do what? No, I'm going to add the eggs. I think the eggs was broke down there twice. A lot of times you put the uh, flour in and mix other things, but I need to go ahead and put the eggs in. I think it, it says two different things on there. Um, beat that first egg up. Go ahead and add the second egg. Then we're going to add two and a half cups of self-rising flour. Add some more buttermilk. Y'all can see I'm not exactly perfect at getting this in here. And let's see here. Me? <laughs> when I get everything cleaned up. All right. Some days that takes a little longer than others. Usually I'm gone somewhere about nine o'clock. All right. Now we have got all of that going in here. We're gonna beat that just another second longer. And then we are going to add our vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna beat that just a minute longer and we're gonna get our cake pans ready. We'll spray our pans. <laughs> have a feeling that earlier I might not have sprayed my pans. Actually, <laughs> these do feel like pans that have been previously sprayed. I think I sprayed the wrong ones earlier. All right. <laughs> yeah, you, I, usually I do. Do you ever buy the kind that has the flour mixed? Yeah. We're gonna turn this up just a second. This is quite green. This would be a good St. Patrick's Day cake, but this is a good Christmas cake. A lot of people make this for Christmas. A lot of people make red velvet cake for Christmas. You just now don't know what recipe you was going to bring me. Oh, I bet it's good. I have a caramel cheesecake that I'd like to bring and make one night, but it really has to be refrigerated overnight. Um, part of the cake does, but we may have to make that one week. Okay. Oh, I love to cook. And when I don't cook, my daughter does, so. All right. Now, we're going to put this in the oven. And we're going to bake these at 350. 
Now, we're also gonna make homemade cream cheese icing. All of you all have seen me make homemade cream cheese icing before. So we're gonna cook this at 350 for 35 minutes. We'll make homemade cream cheese icing, a stick of softened cream cheese, or a bar, whatever you wanna call. Um, and then one pound of confectionery sugar. That's right. And then we have our wonderful stick of butter. I do the cream cheese and butter. I beat those together first. And then I add the pound of confectionery sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And you have wonderful frosting when you're done. People think that you spent forever. And I just like the taste of it so much better than what's in a can. You just can't mimic that taste. And shortly, we will make our cake and we will ice our cake. We sh will show our cameraman what our cake looks like. And it's a wonderful Christmas cake.